Anime truly is the gift that keeps on giving. In fact, they've been rolling out some really good series as of late. I mean, one of which being Gushing Over Magical Girls, which, absolutely fantastic. Freyrin, Beyond Journey's End, as well as even this year we got Konosuba Season 3. And, to top that off, Gushing Over Magical Girls has gotten an announcement for a Season 2, as well as Freyrin. So, this is exciting, besides... This means we get more Best Elf. Oh, I love Freyrin. We need more Best Elf. Besides, if there's a scene that I can't wait to see get animated, it's this one. Because if the Twitter freaks weren't already losing their minds before, then, oh boy, they'll be seething at the mouth over this based Freyrin scene. <laughs> Back on June 20th, If My Wife Becomes an Elementary School Student had its anime trailer reveal, which this is quite a big anime in itself. Now, the title may sound strange, but let me explain this so you can kind of understand it a bit better. Kisuke Nijima loses his wife, which he becomes a very depressed and sad man, known as the gloomy man over what has happened. And 10 years later, after her death, a elementary school girl comes to him and says that she is the reincarnation of his wife. Which is actually a very wholesome series about loss, grieving, trauma, and trying to move on. And it tackles these very important themes and does a very good job with it. In fact, it's a popular series that has its own live action movie as well as a live play. It's pretty interesting when you think about it. Now, leave it to Twitter, and yes, I'm calling it Twitter, not X, I don't care. But leave it to the Twitter freaks to lose their complete total minds over an announcement like this. Japan ain't never beating those pedo allegations. Uh oh, retard alert! Retard alert class! Leave it to this being their first line of thought shows you how stupid they are. When this series doesn't even have that in it, by the way. That's not what this is, but, you know, jump to conclusions, right? So some people were completely roasting this guy right off the bat, saying anime fans never beating the racism allegations. Another tourist making wild accusations despite knowing nothing about what they are preaching. The typical. See his child pedo shit. Absolutely laughable. Midnight Productions ain't never beating those racist allegations, which... Yeah, you know, you're slandering an entire country there, guy. Yeah, that's pretty racist. Tourists never beating the allegations. Why are you thinking of pedophilia straight away? Which, if you ever notice the trend, if there's a lolly in it, they lose their minds and act like it's the worst thing in the world. You could tell they jumped out of the straitjackets and got out of the psych ward somehow. While I like the concept of love when coming back to their lives, the lollicon undertones just makes it icky. Now, if she came back as a dog or something and did housewife things as a dog, that'd be fun, but you know the ending is gonna be where they get remarried so as Abel, ick. But let me tell you something, folks. You can't fix stupid. Now this right here is your typical lolly ick brain rot. <laughs> because this is what these people do. They look at lolly, they freak out because, you know, first world problems. I do have one major solution to people like this. Take your meds. Now there was another announcement and you would think, oh, this is a great thing. We have another announcement on this. And yes, it was actually very good to see. Now at the same time, well, if you thought the Twitter freak stupidity couldn't get any dumber, well, they also went and attacked this post too. Now, if you notice, the very same guy that attacked the other post came in on this one and also stated they knew what they were doing with that title. And they continued with his brain rot stating, yes, he's right here, officer. Stupid is forever. ISWTG, whatever the hell that means. If I see any of y'all post clips and screenshots about this anime, I'm calling the cops. Uh, first off, the cops are going to think you're a complete total lunatic because you're calling them over a harmless anime. Secondly, the brain rot levels are so high because if you saw something that you thought was illegal, then why would you be posting it? What a clown. Japanese people never beating the allegations. Oh, okay. So, uh, more racism towards the Japanese and... Not only is this a racist statement, it's slander, but it's taking all the Japanese people. And they're trying to literally say that all of them are child diddlers. Man, how extremely bigoted of these people, am I right? Disgusting. Let me get back to my pure western entertainment.
Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> You know, fiction in general is kind of strange. I think anybody can just easily say that. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Fiction is just a weird thing, but it's a fun thing. You know what I mean? But hey, you know, they'll say, I want to get back to my pure Western entertainment. Yeah, pure. Hmm. You know, there was a movie I remember a few years ago that came out that was on Netflix. Uh, yeah, yeah, cuties. That abomination. Yeah, that never should have been made. Yeah, so much for pure Western entertainment. See, this is that shit with anime I'd be talking about. This is that shit. Hell, the only shit that I see here is this brain rot and decay that these lunatics have over a harmless anime because they have nothing better going on in their lives. Very pedophile coded. Congrats to the Japanese. You're never beating the allegations. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. These are the people that want you to think that they're the quote-unquote normal people when they look at an anime and they see a lolly in it and the first thing they think is <gasps> lolly child diddler which <laughs> is not normal it's not a normal line of thought it's just it's bizarre you wonder why they go to that line of thought and then they're also being racist towards the japanese and trying to claim them all as child diddlers you know these people are absolutely unhinged and completely insane off their meds as you can clearly tell and these people are just like assholes everything that comes out of them is shit certified pedophile the animated series that's a nice argument senator why don't you back it up with a source my source is that i made it the fuck up she's my wife she's 29 years old she just got turned into an elementary school student somehow i swear to god the thing that's really concerning when it comes to people like this is just how incomprehensibly stupid they really are and how unhinged they get over the slightest little things that aren't even an issue at all. And then they even go as far as to compare a harmless anime teaser trailer to Epstein. I mean, this goes to show how brainless these people actually are. Pedo propaganda in broad daylight, but it's okay, cause my anime Japan place very based. Man, you are one pathetic loser. Ironically, the anime fans came back and smacked this guy hard because then he stated, Why are the anime fans up my ass right now? I don't give a fuck if you want to defend this fuck-ass anime. I'm a sports account. Leave me alone. You're supposed to be a sports account, and yet you want people to leave you alone? When you started this by attacking an anime teaser trailer and everybody called you out for it? Yeah, this guy's a complete total idiot. Now, this person has the rope. You know what that means. It's very easy to know what they're implying by this, which is awful. And then another person posted this saying, Now, this might strike some viewers as harsh, but I believe everyone involved in this story should die. And when you thought this situation couldn't get any crazier, yes, there were people that were hoping that people would lose their lives over this anime teaser trailer. This got even worse when there were people saying Japan has gone too far and then they posted a meme of how they wanted the president of China to attack Japan. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It jumped up a notch. It did, didn't it? Some people were even going as far as to continue to say China must nuke Japan. Another one even said President Zai, fire when ready. Complete and total psychopaths right here. China, when you finally liberate Taiwan, keep pushing northeast. Of course, their name would be Swamp Communist. You stupid, ignorant, son of a bitch, dumb bastard! Jesus Christ, I've met some dumb bastards in my time, but you outdo them all. Get over there! These people are just pure evil. I mean, they're psychopaths. There's no other way to explain it. I mean, to ask to destroy an entire country over a harmless anime... Like, these are the types of people that, yeah, they do need to be in psych wards because they're absolutely insane. It's so cool how every other studio that produced something approaching good art has shut down over the last two years, but they still have people cranking out. They became a pedophile for my child bride. This is what brain rot looks like. These people are mentally deranged clowns. If my wife becomes an elementary school student, you are a pedo. More destroying of the meaning of the word. I hate being an anime fan, man. This shit has gotten worse and worse in the 21 years I've been calling myself that. What the fuck is this thing going to contain?
Nope, I'm done. I have looked at enough of that for one day. I am done. But point in case here is that people like this that do not understand a series, they're going to tag it in any way they can, which of course also devalues the words that they use because they don't even know the right context or the meaning to the word. I mean, for them to actually come to the conclusion that, oh man, it must mean pedophilia or something like that, well, that's just deranged. And then to want to harm people over something as innocent as this, want their country to be destroyed or people to lose their lives, that is absolutely evil. But the thing about this series is it's actually really good. It's very wholesome and it's actually quite depressing. Um, and it is actually a good series that faces a lot of themes like loss, grieving, trauma, and moving on. It's actually quite good. I, you know, I highly recommend it. It even has a sequel manga to it. I mean, it's really interesting. Like I said, series is actually really good. I definitely recommend you try it out. If there's anything to learn from this is don't judge a book by its cover. Most certainly, don't harass people. Don't threaten them. Don't, you know, wish harm upon them or anything like that. Like, God, those people are absolutely insane and they need to be on their meds. Like, those are very, very delusional, psychotic people. Ugh, man, the world's full of it. Ugh, man, they need to go outside. They need to get away from living online. Ugh, I swear. The world itself, it's a total madhouse.